Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Miscellaneous Pleasures. I'm back with the third episode from Stranger Things 2. Uh, last time we... Well, what did we see? Last time we had the Halloween episode. So, I remember certain things happened between Max and Lucas and Dustin. Well, Obviously, the four kids, they wore that stupid costume. Not stupid, but then, you know, stupid from the perspective of everybody else because nobody else was in costume in the school. So that happened, and then, um, you know, the brother of Max, that guy, the guy that I hate absolutely, uh, he tried to, well, I mean, I don't think he was meaning to run over the kids, uh, but then, yeah, he did almost come close to doing that. And then Max, I guess, felt bad for them. Uh, so she joined them in the Halloween trick-or treating and stuff like that. We obviously saw Will have that episode um, where he obviously hallucinated again that he was in the upside down. And he had that very interesting conversation. Not interesting, but more like... Um, a good conversation with Mike about it. Uh, we saw that Eleven, yeah, talking of Eleven, actually, before that, Hopper, he found out that a lot of pumpkins sort of farmers had their paths hit by somebody, like from their perspective. Like they thought that there was this one guy who sort of destroyed all the pumpkins but then i'm pretty sure and even i think at this point of time even hopper knows that it's something to do with the upside down and not really some some farmer who has a revenge to who wants to take a revenge or anything like that like that's not the case and uh it's something to do with upside down uh so in doing all of this, Hopper obviously was late uh, you know, because he promised Levin that he would be home by 5.15. Uh, what has happened? Yeah, the end of the episode. Uh, the end of the episode, we had Dustin find something in his trash can. Like, I suspect it's a creature from the upside down because of the way it sort of made a sound like that whatever sound that was it resembled very much with what uh, Will heard in the upside down while he was hallucinating like at least that's how I perceived it um, so there was that we had Steve and Nancy like they went to this uh, weird party Halloween party and Steve obviously got treated a bit too harsh a bit too harshly for my liking and he had Jonathan take Nancy home like that was weird I mean I that was not weird then you know it sucked anyways we had all these things happening I am not sure if I've forgotten anything but then I'm pretty sure I might have done something like that so anyways I'll be reminded of it while I'm watching the episode uh yeah so I don't really have anything else to sort of recap. So here we go. Okay, so what creature does he have inside that? Um, Sorry, Yertle. Temporary eviction, buddy. Hey, what the hell is that? I mean, it's it's a creature from the upside down, but it's. I mean, it does look slimy and looks very small.
thing. What? Wait, what did I just saw? What did I just see? Was that increasing in size? Like, I... Yeah, I don't know. Dude, skip the intro. It's a polywog. <laughs> Ah, oh, this seems... yeah, this is good stuff. That's it, huh? We're still not talking? Okay, we're back here. Uh, back to the prison. Alright. I guess I'm just gonna have to, uh, enjoy this triple-decker egg extravaganza on my own. <laughs> well played, Bumper. Well played. He is not lying. He, I mean, yeah, that's the extent of her vocabulary. So. Well, I fell asleep, and just like always, Mr. Baldo came to me. Only this time, I didn't run. This time, I stood my ground and just looked at Mr. Baldo okay. in his stupid face, and I said, "Go away! Go away!" Uh. Why do we have ominous music playing? Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Um. I saw. But his injury resulted in a complete change to his personality. So much so that friends that knew him started referring to him as no longer Gage. At the time, this was known as the American crowbar case, though it wasn't a crowbar. I'm so sorry, Mr. Clark. Really, I'm so sorry. Please continue with the class. Don't worry. Here we go. Okay, what? Everything is near... near the lab? Okay. Wait. Don't ever go out alone. Uh, she's breaking literally all the rules. This is an interesting way of showing the rules. showing the scenes. Only, uh, don't be stupid rules. Because we're not stupid, right? Not stupid. Apparently, uh, we killed Barb, and I don't care because I'm bullshit, and our whole our whole relationship is bullshit, and uh, it's just bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Oh yeah, also you don't love me. I was drunk, Steve. I don't remember any of that. Yeah, that doesn't Everything make it. It's just yeah, just bullshit too. Yes. Well, then tell me. Tell you what? Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, come on, that's not how it works. Really? Still works fine and everything. I just I went back and watched the tape. Wait, what was in the tape? There were some older kids picking on Will. What? I scared them. Who were they? Were they the Zimmerman brothers again? Um, I don't know. They were wearing uh -huh. masks or sort of makeup and maybe the right age. Kill them. I swear to God, I would. I kill them. So Dude. Don't about you. You punch back. Um. <laughs> Okay, so there was never really anything else in the day. I struggled a lot like Will when I was a kid. With bullies. The lab would be able to do it. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan. I mean, you know, he's really upset. He did not ask you to do that. No guy would ask you to do that. But he was still worried about you. I don't know, like this. I think 
there's this weight you're carrying around. Are you actually having a laugh? Oh, shit. Wait a second. Oh my god. This is the first time this is happening to me. Okay, this hurts my eyes. But I guess my face is still visible because the yeah, recording is still on. Power went off in my house. I can't think what's the show. This is ridiculous. Anyways, I'm going to pause my recording and I'll be hopefully back soon. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the reaction of Stranger Things Chapter 3 of Season 2. Uh, yeah, the power supply came back and here I am. Uh, wow, I have never had that happen to me before, especially not during the reaction, like honestly. Wow. Yeah, so what happened in the first whatever minutes of the episode um my mind is currently blank okay yeah so dustin found that creature from the upside down and he doesn't obviously know it yet that it's creature from the upside down though i have a feeling that will has recognized its voice so and then obviously he has been reading up on books on reptiles and uh, aquatic animals and you know whether they are endothermic or exothermic not endothermic exothermic more like are they cold blooded or warm blooded and all those type of things so the conclusion that he has come to is that the feature that he has fits into none of the profiles that he has read upon and yeah so there's that i think the scene that i just left the episode on was just after actually it was the scene where jonathan and nancy were talking but it was just after nancy and steve were talking where steve was just like you know what <clears throat> this is bullshit quite ironic that he used the word uh but yeah this is bullshit and this is not working um so that happened um uh, what is what is your advice um uh, yeah, we have had quite a few scenes of flashback between Hopper and Millie, not Millie, Hopper and Levin. And we have seen some parallel scenes happen in the present time between Hopper and Levin. And then the latest on it is that Levin sort of broke the rules and has went out of the house, possibly trying to meet Mike, I'm guessing. But I don't know what's going to happen in that. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, Hopper also went to the lab and sort of strongly requested, is probably the word, the phrase. Uh, he strongly requested the lab to do some, you know, experiments and sort of tests on the crop. And plants and trees, really. I mean, it's just not the pumpkin crop, is it? It's just everything, every sort of plantation that's around the lab, some sort of a three mile radius he mentioned, uh, everything is dying or dead. So he wants the lab to do experiments and tests on them to find out if it, anything has to do with upside down or is it just something that's because of the, the dimension that we know of. So yeah, so that happened. Uh, so yeah, here we go. All the time, I feel it too. But those, those people who did this ruined so many lives. They, they just get away with it. Of course. Okay, wait a second. If I'm not mistaken, I paused for a similar reason in season one i think it was something related to what joy said like people did not do this they were experimenting on completely different things and that had nothing to do with barbara and whatever they were doing it they discovered this new sort of plane and plane dimension whatever you want to call it so just because that 
that claim that they discover happens to have creatures that want to kill people from our plane doesn't make the lab people bad guys like they are bad guys for very different reasons i'm not denying the fact that they are not really the best people around but then this is not the reason like you can't hold the lab responsible for the death of barbara yeah you can hold them responsible for hiding the truth but then that's a completely different discussion like honestly uh, am I the only one who is feeling all these things? Responsible for this? Hey, Dad. Do you really believe that? Where are your parents? Look, Mommy, look. Um, why would you use your power like that? I don't get it. Yeah, I am actually excited about this tape because uh, I, I mean, I asked this question last time around, didn't I? Like, is he hallucinating or is he going to the upside down momentarily? Even though that doesn't really make any sense, but what if it's happening? Wait, what? Wait, what? He did go back to the upside down. Will, you coming? Let's go show Mr. Clark. What? What? It's about Tartania. This is the reason I was late for class. Hi, it's um it's Nancy. Nancy? I uh I need to tell you something. Something about Bard. About that night, I, uh, I, I haven't been honest with you. But I, I can't tell you here on the phone. Meet me tomorrow. Oh tomorrow. shit! Don't tell anyone. They're still tapping the phones. I mean, I don't like what she did. But I don't want her dead or something. And I'm happy that the lab is actually doing these tests, well, it seems. These pumpkins. Some nasty stuff and the smell. Gee, mother of God. So what exactly do you think is going on? Well, I told you what I think. Oh my god. Oh you idiots. You're actually going to do this. He's going to see Mike with somebody. And he's are you kidding me? Wait, what? Are you kidding? Oh, eleven. <laughs> you jealous? Jesus, are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I think so. What happened? I don't know. It was just like a magnet or something pulling on my cord. I know that sounds crazy. Where did she go?
peasy, right? Easy peasy. Whoa. Just like that. Wait, what? What? Are you joking? Son of a bitch. They did not actually end the episode like that. Unfucking believable. Okay. Um. Wow, this episode has been a journey. Like honestly, start the episode, have the power power supply taken off, switched off, and then you know power supply is back on. Give the episode back on, and then have something like this happen at the end of the episode. Um. But this is a much better episode. Like I absolutely loved this episode. Like it was extremely engaging, regardless of the fact that it was broken into two for me personally. Uh, by um, I don't know, about ten to fifteen minutes in between. Um. Anyways, the point is uh, the conversation that Will had with Bob, and the last scene. We obviously were some sort of a like. Bob was giving advice for this scene that happened. The problem is Bob gave an advice for a nightmare. Was that a nightmare? It wasn't. It was more sort of like a vision. And I sort of mentioned something randomly. I mean, it wasn't exactly random, but I did mention it, I think, in the last reaction when I said that was Will going Was Will going to the upside down momentarily or was he just having an hallucination whenever he was having these episodes? Um, I thought that the camera would have captured something. Uh, the camera did capture something but then it wasn't like he was in the upside down. Like I don't know. I did not really get what Joyce found in that while she was watching the tape back. Because there's obviously the scene that happened where one guy calls him a zombie boy, the other guy calls him trick or treat freak, third one just scares him, and then he falls flat, and the camera falls beside him, and then like Joyce freaks out and pauses the video, and then focuses on some sort of a background where we can see that line of the monster. The, basically the shape outline of the monster basically but then uh, whatever visual I could see it did not really look like the upside down it looked actually like our plane so so it wasn't the case that the camera was or should I say Will was in the upside down with the camera it was the case that he was still in this plane but then he was having visions so if he was having visions then how did the camera capture the outline of the monster? So that's, yeah, unless of course I, I'm, mis I'm mistaken and they actually showed something else and I perceived it to be something else. I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, but then, even if we keep, keep that to be true, then of course the fact is he's having visions and uh, Mike he raised this while he was telling the group about how dark it is from upside down. He said that maybe he's like, uh, he could see into the Eternal plane or something. Like, I, I think it's something from the Dungeons of Dragons or some game like that. Um, ethereal plane or something. So basically, he could see through dimensions and basically he was having visions. That's how the kids describe it. My point is, if all of this is true, then uh what does it mean in the last episode like oh, sorry the last scene of this episode like what does that mean so the fact that he did not run away did not help his cause in my opinion because if he had then actually he would have probably survived that well whatever happened because it almost felt like the monster went inside him i don't actually have an explanation for that Apart from the fact that maybe the monster just went inside him, 
but then what does that mean for will like i don't know uh and the funny thing is three episodes in i'm still not convinced by bob like the, the, the interesting thing is like if some normal music had been playing like some happy music or some sort of you know friendly normal sort of music had been playing while bob was giving the advice to will then i wouldn't have said anything actually i probably would have said you know what bob is a good guy but then the fact that all this music was playing it almost as if felt as something like you know whatever he was saying it wasn't actually advice it was him trying to trick will into doing something so the advice was to be fair pretty much metaphorically true like if you're having some sort of a repeated nightmare and stuff like that then you know having that strong will power no pun intended strong sort of a mentality and stuff like that ability to say go away sort of thing it, it could be useful and helpful and i guess that advice wasn't that bad but then the fact that ominous music for some reason was playing while he was giving that advice and then this thing that happened at the end of the episode almost makes me feel that maybe he's connected to all of this somehow i don't know how but then somehow so there is that hmm oh what else so dart like what exactly is going to happen with dart and dustin like for some reason i mean there is no it's not for some reason the reasons are kind of obvious but i mean it was kind of also obvious the fact that dustin was sort of um the word that i'm looking for is deluded but it's very harsh so i'm not going to use it he was blinded by his sort of curiosity and excitement at finding dart and like also sort of you know the way he was saying that you know what this species the way it's behaving it is it, it doesn't fit into any of the patterns that we have like it doesn't fit into any sort of uh, species nomenclature or anything of the sort any family genus species anything so he thought that he had discovered a new species and you know all that excitement sort of blinded him from the obvious fact that the creature was from upside down i mean for a, for, for a viewer i guess it's kind of obvious but then for people in that universe uh i mean i guess the only thing he could go for if he wanted to believe that was will because will was the guy who said you know what that sounded like a creature i had seen something like that in the upside down so i mean yeah i guess i can see dustin's point of view but but the thing that he was saying he it was kind of funny like he had a bond with him like what the hell but then as i said he was blinded so i won't really criticize him for that though it would depend on what he does next like the things that happen in the future episode is probably going to decide my sort of feeling towards what he has done um max seems to be very sort of it seems it seems like she's a character in flux for me personally like when i say in flux what i mean is the first episode and like sort of for me i was like you know what she has this weird brother who is not really likable even for max and Basically, the first two episodes, my sort of thing was like, you know what? She has been brought in to be the sort of a foil for Lucas and Dustin, because sort of Mike and Levin was a thing in the first season, and well, Mike and Levin was a thing in the first season, and Will is not really into all these things right now. So I guess they needed some sort of a chemistry, some sort of a new phase and stuff like that back. into the steam and max was sort of perfect for that and her character was really fun um the interesting thing in this episode was first of all she was obviously curious about will and why he was so zombie boy a zombie boy and all those type of things and then she was just staring at him like i mean she was obviously curious but then uh, you know go, go further into the episode and then she had this sort of a 
two three minute conversation with mike like why he hates her and then she also wanted to be part of the team and stuff like that so i guess i mean um i don't really know what to make of it but then she's obviously um going to be a big part of this season and this tv series to be fair so yeah she she seems to be a very good addition to the show i don't know what bob is if he's a good guy then he seems to be also a very good addition to the show because you know he has this thing with joyce and it's just a new character and he brings something new like he seems to be a fun type of guy so if he's not a bad guy then he seems to be a good addition too and finally this guy billy his name is billy right max brother i mean i i'm not sold over why exactly he is necessary to the show like he right now seems to be the guy who is sort of you know we have steve on one side and this guy is like he was earlier the sort of the school what's the word school top guy basically i don't know what the word is but then obviously right now it's billy and then it's going to be billy and stuff like that so apart from that and whatever she does is sort of like negatively impacting steve like he's not really being nice to him that's i guess how he's written so that's going to do like i guess the only purpose he serves right now is steve related i can't see anything else uh max related maybe yeah too yes of course but then max is also new character so i'm not really sure how to perceive all of this um yeah and uh, finally we left it like she just left the school like i did not really understand why she left like she wanted to meet mike for that long and then she even made max fall off her skates and then she just left was she just upset by the fact that mike was interacting with on the girl like on the skates i mean she obviously does not have any social skills or anything of the sort so it's like ridiculous to even consider criticizing her for stuff like this but it wasn't the best thing to do who oh, so yeah um that's all for this reaction i don't really have anything else to say i feel like i've spoken for ages uh so yeah thank you so much for watching please do share your thoughts on my uh, well, whatever you have thoughts on and yeah Thank you so much for watching again. Bye.